The history of the Ukrainian national blue-yellow colors has been a subject of discussion in many previous articles. But the study of this topic was problematic, because after the unsuccessful Ukrainian revolution of 1917-1921, Pilot to build their own state. The display of blue and yellow flags was not tolerated and banned. There was also no opportunity for formal access to archival materials and qualitative research. In the Soviet Union, the use of Ukrainian flags was punished as a criminal offense. In fact, until the end of the 1980s, any article published about the Ukrainian flag was only made outside of Ukraine. Unfortunately, this article is not infrequently made a number of factual mistakes that are occasionally repeated in various publications to this day. We managed to publish the initial research in Ukraine in 1989 in illegal issues. Fortunately, at the end of the year, an article was published in the magazine Pamitki Ukraine, which was of great importance for the promotion of the national flag. But even with the beginning of the collapse of the USSR and the restoration of statehood in Ukraine, the issue of legalization of the blue and yellow flag met with fierce resistance from the old communist bureaucracy. In 1992, the blue and yellow flag was finally legislated as the state flag. Since the early 1990s, attempts to discredit Ukrainian symbols have continued in Russia and various fiction and non analysis have been published. The myths and fakes were actively supported by pro-Russian forces in Ukraine. Such efforts are not new. They began in 1918. If Soviet propaganda preferred to limit itself to labels of bourgeoisie and nationalism, various Russian white emigrants and also tried to invent all sorts of pseudo-historical forgeries. However, these mistakes have been refuted on the basis of historical sources a long time ago. After the Orange Revolution of 2005, the Russian secret services began active information attack. Political propaganda, amplified by technology, was used to inflame conflicts among Ukrainians over symbols as well. Falsifiers began to spread various provocative ideas about the flag. This was especially true concerning the need to turn over the flag and other arguments were used to promote various fakes and myths. Over the past 30 years, we have managed to conduct thorough research into the history of national symbols to find in archives and museums many previously unknown materials to refute such mistakes. Therefore, we will now consider the existence of the grounds for changing the order of the stripes on the Ukrainian flag. Myth number one, historical. It is alleged that on March 22, 1918, the yellow and blue flag was approved by law and later it was overturned by Freemasons. The establishment of the blue and yellow combination as Ukrainian national colors in the modern sense dates back to 1848, when the Ukrainian national revival began during the Spring of Nations in Galicia. Then the main Ruthenian council defined as national symbols the coat of arms of the Kingdom of Ruthenia from the 13th-14th century and blue and yellow colors. Since the end of the 19th century, blue and yellow flag have been actively used by Ukrainian emigrants in America and during the First World War. This symbol spread to not only the Ukrainian lands but also to are the territories where Ukrainian communities lived. The order of colors of the flag had not yet been established, so both options were used. In fact, this is not surprising. For example, police at that time also used both white-red and red-white flags. It was only the approval of the white and red flag in 1919 at the state level that finally resolved this issue. The blue and yellow flag 
received all Ukrainian recognition after the February Revolution of 1917. This was facilitated in particular by the popular interpretation of colors as a visualization of the Ukrainian landscape. Blue meant the sky and yellow meant the wheat field. There were no discussion about the order of colors, only a small note about the need to use darker shades. On November 20, 1917, the Third Universal of the Ukrainian Central Council was adopted in Kyiv, which proclaimed the formation of the Ukrainian People's Republic. The first legislative act, which finally regulated the order of colors of the flag as blue-yellow, was implemented on January 27, 1918. At that time, the Central Council approved a temporary law of the Ukrainian Navy and Merchant Fleet. So, blue and yellow became the official flag of the Ukrainian People's Republic and was also used on military, naval and other service flags in 1918. Some emigrants' publications erroneously claimed that the Yellow and Blue Flag Act had been approved on March 22, 1918. We managed to find the protocol of this meeting of the Central Council in the archives. It turned out that on this day the drawings of the state emblem and seal were considered. There was no question about the flag and no law was passed. The same order of colors remained during the reign of Hetman Pavlos Koropatsky on July 16, 1918, the hetman approved the drone of the new naval flag of the Ukrainian state, white with blue cross and blue-yellow canton. All legal approvals of the flags of the Ukrainian People's Republic, the Ukrainian state and the Western Ukrainian People's Republic during 1918-1921 were recorded only in blue and yellow flags. It is clear that Hetman Skropatsky did not turn out anything and the Freemasons are useless here. Myth number two, heraldic. It is alleged that the order of colors of the Ukrainian flag does not meet heraldic norms. Such discussions began in the 1920s and 1930s in the Western Ukraine, which was a part of Poland at that time. Proponents of the yellow-blue version constantly appealed to the rules of heraldry and their opponents to the established historical tradition during 1917-1921. In fact, heraldry principles regulate the rules of drawing coat of arms, while flags were created on the basis of different principles, without any strict rules, occasionally without any connection with the coat of arms. Therefore, to talk about such rulers of heraldry is completely unfounded to the Ukrainian case. So where did this myth come from? There was a widespread practice of using flags, banners and cockards in various colors of municipal and land colors in Germany in the 19th century. In order of streamlines this process, recommendations were proposed for the creation of such flags from multicolored horizontal stripes. The upper part of the flag took the color of the charge from the coat of arms, and as for the lower part of the flag, the color of the shield field. This recommendation from the end of the 19th century partially spread to Austria-Hungary. However, it should be noted that such proposals remained within the framework of German heraldry and never grow to the concept of generally accepted rulers of heraldry. Similar rulers were not applied in other countries. The only exception are some neighboring states that emerged after the First World War. After all, in modern Germany and Austria, this alleged rulers are not followed because the administrative lands use striped flags drawn in different principles at time 
contrary to the above recommendations. For example, we can look at the coat of arms of Vienna, Vorarlberg and Tyrol and compare their coat of arms with the composition of their flags. It should be borne in means that the 1918 Ukraine first approved a flag with its own content, without reference to the coat of arms. Therefore, the colors of the flag have already influenced the image of the coat of arms, which appeared only two months late. So, the appeal to the rulers of heraldry regarding the Ukrainian flag is completely unfounded and does not correspond to the historical tradition of this symbol. Myth number three, Feng Shui. It is said that the blue and yellow flag does not correspond to Feng Shui and according to the book Yi Jing forms the hexagram P on which water fills the fire and represents decline. And in the reverse the hexagram Tai which means prosperity. First of all, it should be clarified that Feng Shui is a system of Chinese beliefs in the integrity of the universe. Yi Jing, or Book of Change, is a one of the five classics in the Confucian canon, on which Chinese natural philosophy is based and is devoted to divination. Magical symbols are used for interpretation, trigrams and hexagrams. For other topic, it makes no sense to consider in detail the interpretation of magical hexagrams. First, the Chinese beliefs and Confucianism do not have anything to do with Ukrainian traditions. Second, neither Feng Shui nor Yi Jing have anything to do with vexillology or the principles of flag making. For example, flags with three horizontal stripes, vertical divisions, crosses, etc. are not regulated by the hexagrams. Said, you have to be completely new to attribute all your troubles to the color of the flags. This is reminiscent of the old anecdote that the Soviet Union collapsed because Lenin in the mausoleum did not lie in accordance with the principles of Feng Shui. It is clear that on the Ukrainian flag water does not flood the fire and Feng Shui does not determine its colors. Myth number four, symbol of distress. The allegedly inverted flag is an international symbol of misery. The American film The Last Castle also contributed to the spirit of such aversion. The main character of the film intends to take over the prison, then raise the US flag upside down to signal distress. What is it really about? The normative act, the US flag code first published in 1923 and adopted by Congress in 1942. In the section of honoring the flag, one of the points states the flag should never be displayed with the union down except as a signal of dire distress in instances of extreme danger to life or property. That is, it means primarily, this use of the flag at sea during a pirate attack. But under the influence of the film, attempts were made to hang the overturned US flag as a symbol of protest against the government's political decisions. However, it was explained that such steps are meaningless as the flag is a national symbol, not a personification of power. After all, this only applies to the flag of the United States, not other countries. It is recognized that among all the countries in the world, only one has the statutory use of the inverted flag. This is the Philippines. In this country, during war times, the flag is used with crossed stripes. 
there are no international flag norms to overturn flags. We can try to invert the and fly the flags of France, Italy, Sweden, Israel or Japan. One cannot invert the flags because the flags are symmetrical about the central horizontal axis. Obviously, this practice also has nothing to do with the Ukrainian flag. Myth number five, photographic. It is said that the flag was yellow over blue because in the black and white photos the upper field is darker. There is a lot of speculation about the transfer of blue and yellow colors on monochrome materials. We can consider the difficulty to identify the colors on the example of a photograph. The oath of the Ukrainian government, which took place in Kamenets Podilsky on October 1919. In the title photo, which depicts the event, the large flags have a lower stripes darker than the top, which immediately suggests that it is yellow and blue. But in later memoirs, participants of the event mentioned that the flags were blue and yellow. Consider other examples. One photo shows the flag of Ruthenian pilgrimage to the Holy Land in 1906 and other show the flag of the Shevchenko regiment formed in Petrograd from Ukrainian soldiers in autumn of 1917. The flags in the photos have light top and dark bottom stripes. However, the coat of arms shown in the middle of the barns, in which a dark yellow lion stands on a dark yellow rock on a light blue field of the shield, allow us to establish that the flags had blue upper the yellow lower stripes. The best option for establishing the true color of rice flag, insignia or other objects is to compare them with the original memorabilia. An example is the flag of the Sokil Society or the emblem of the sport club Senova Chaik. The flag and the badge of the sport club are still preserved in the museum collection. If we compare the colors with old photos, we also see that the blue colors look much lighter than yellow. Why so? It should be borne in mind that at the time brown silver gelatin emulsion was customarily used and the sensitivity of light of the colors differed. It was less sensitive to light spectra about the wavelength of blue and cyan. To bring color reproduction in black and white closer to the perception of the human eye, the technological capabilities of photography were later improved by sensitization, increasing the sensitivity to light of various photographic plates, paper and films by adding special substances to the photo emulsion. Only in the 1940s was it possible to introduce new technologies for photographic paper and obtain the desired result for black and white photographs. You can trace the chronological changes in the transfer of blue and yellow colors in photographs in the example of the image of the Swedish flag. Until 1939 we have images in which the yellow cross looks dark and the blue field of the flag light. Only in the photographs of 1948 and 1950 can one discern that the transfer of the colors in black and white approximates the perception of the human eye. Instead, Almost all memorabilia of the type from the period of the Ukrainian Revolution of 1917-1921 were made on non sensitized photographic materials. Therefore, when involving the circulation of various photographic documents and newsreels from a critical scientific uh, perspective, 
it is necessary to take into account the peculiarities of the relevant technological developments. After all, they are an important sources not only for the study of vexillology, but also for the study of phaleristic emblems, uniforms, and play an important role for military reconstructors. Conclusions The absence of its own nation-state and excessive politicization by the communist regime of the USSR made it difficult to study the history of the Ukrainian flag in the 20th century. Only with the collapse of the Soviet Union and the recognition of the statehood of Ukraine was it possible to properly conduct scientific research. But a new problem arose which was the use of the Ukrainian national symbol in the face of Russia's politically and sophistically propaganda. Using the internet, TV and other media, various fakes and fabrications about the Ukrainian flag were spread. Thus, the symbol was desecrated, it was provoked to change, contrary to Ukrainian historical tradition, as well as to deepen conflict between various parts of Ukrainian society. Of course, there are no grounds, neither historical, nor heraldic, nor vexillological, for overturning the Ukrainian flag. Other explanatory work and the publication of a number of articles and monographs have calmed public opinion on this issue and marginalized this artifiction problem. The history of the Ukrainian flag illustrates the possible danger of using symbols in modern conflict and to promote political propaganda. Extreme politicization, manipulation, creation of the fake narratives and myths can lead to destabilization of public life. Therefore, such challenges require immediate response of specialists, in this case, vexillologists.